Hi everyone, with Kelvin here. So let's discuss about weekly contest 178 for question minimum cost to make at least one valid part in a grid. So given m times n grid, and inside each of the cells we have a number one, two, three, four representing the arrow of facing right, left, um, down or up, and then um, our objective is uh, to make sure there is a path to visit from. Um, grid 0 0 to grid m minus 1 n minus 1 and the path itself doesn't have to be shortest so um, if we want to modify a uh, arrow in each of the cells it will cost us one so we need to make sure like we repair the um, grid itself so it can visit from the grid 0 0 to grid m minus 1 n minus 1 with the minimum cost of repair but it doesn't have to be the shortest path so let's take a look on the first example here. Um, uh, the grid here is um, directing to the right, left, right, and left. And basically, we cannot visit um, from the 0, 0 to m minus 1, n minus 1. So we need to repair some cells. For example, like um, we're going to repair like the this corner here to point down, and this one also point down, and this one also point down. So we require three repairs so that we can visit um, our um, right bottom corner there. So the cost is three. Another way to repair is we, we can repair, um, for example, our initial grid to point down, this one to point down, right? And then um, this one to point down as well. So it will also cost three. So three is our minimum cost to repair um, this grid to be able to visit from um, top left to right bottom. And you can see here the output is 3 so take a look on the second example um, we are already able to visit directly to the bottom bottom right so the cost will be 0 because no repair needed okay and yeah those is other example so um, if we can um, th think about it like um, the main point here is like if the direction is the same like um, the our um, destination direction is the same with our current um, arrow direction then the cost will be free but if the direction is different from current one for example we want to visit um, the grid at the bottom of it but our direction is pointing to the right that means um, to visit the bottom part we need the cost of one from um, differ from current um, cells position okay so in that sense like actually we can do a jigstra to finish this problem because um, we want to determine like um, which um, which current uh, which grid is the current lowest cost and then from that one we want to open the possibilities to visit um, next grid so yeah um, take a look on here the first example here so let's say this is our initial grid we open to um, the right part and bottom part with the cost of zero for the right part with the cost of one for the bottom part and then we start from the lowest one again we open to the right part and then to the bottom one as one and to the right part as zero and so on until um, we don't have any open list anymore and basically we will get the minimum cost um, to visit our right bottom grid so let's take a look on the implementation so as the idea there um, actually I create a class called points um, basically this point is like uh, for the XY of the queue itself just to help me out to wrap the class but actually I don't need the hash code and equals since I'm not using uh, set or map and then here um, take a look on the direction so I create the direction based on the problem statement um, right left down and up and then I create another array for the cost to determine um, what is the minimum cost to visit um, certain cells in the grid so initially I initialize everything with the integer max value because um, I have I'm not I, I we haven't know like um, what is the minimum cost to visit so I put the max value there and then we initialize um, our starting point cost to be zero because yeah that's the starting point and then the priority queue basically will sort based on the cost we got and this set is actually not needed so actually we can remove it and then on next one we add our initial grid to become the starting point in the list and then we look through the list until it's everything is gone and yeah Q 
key differences here on this problem is like we have um, something called free direction means um, the direction we can visit without adding extra cost to it so um, take a look here so we look through all the direction from left right um, bottom and right left right bottom and up and then yeah that is our target position x and y so if those target position is invalid means it's out of grid then i will just keep um, those direction and otherwise we determine if it's a free direction to go without adding the cost then we just determine we just make sure our target one our target position currently is more expensive to visit compared to our cost then we set our target position cost to become our cost uh, our current cost so it's uh, we make sure it's a minimum and we add the, the, our target position to the list and if it's not a free direction means um, we need to make sure like our target position is actually more expensive than our cost plus one because yeah we will change our current direction to its direction so yeah uh, our target position will become our current um, cost of our current position plus one and then we also add it to our grid uh, our list and then basically we loop through all the queue until it's empty and we just take um, the cost of the um, grid minus um, the uh, right bottom corner of our um, cost and that will be the answer so that's it for this question thank you for watching see you on the next weekly contest